and, and um, how did it go? Um, the first night it felt, I was surprised. It was a little, a little scary putting it on. It was a little weird, but it was much more comfortable and less and much quieter than I expected. Um, and then the next morning I woke up and I thought, wow, I couldn't believe it. I didn't, I wasn't tired. I didn't even get up at night to go to the bathroom. And I usually get up two or three times a night to go to the bathroom. I didn't get up at all. Um, I felt like I had energy. I wasn't exhausted at work. I didn't have to come home and take a nap. And I felt like a totally different person. Unfortunately, I was on call Saturday, I believe. And I didn't take it with me because I don't want, I'm scared to use it. And if I fall asleep, be in a deep sleep. And if I get called for an emergency, not hear it, not hear the phone call or anything. And I could not sleep that night. It was very, um, I just could not get to sleep. So you're going to laugh. I couldn't wait to get home to take my, to sleep so I could put it on so I could have a comfortable night. Amazing. So you were right. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. And tell me again, what were your concerns? Why didn't you want to try it? I think my biggest concern is pride. Um, I just didn't want to have this. And, and the people that I've seen are wearing this big, huge mask and it's so loud. Um, and I guess I, I always assume CPAP or obstructive sleep apnea is for old people. And I guess I don't consider myself old. Um, but you know, the realities are my husband had been wanting me to get myself checked up for the last couple of years. And he was actually very uh, supportive in me buying the CPAP and trying it. Um, and he says, you're completely quiet at night. I don't hear anything. So, awesome. so it's working. Awesome. It's working. Yeah.